My name is Pade Mainuka. I work for Ideas for Uganda. Now we have gotten upstream River Nyamwamba and this is how it had to open up this place and brought boulders. The stones you see are from uh, on top of them of Mount Renzori and uh, when it floods it pushes all the stones down and uh, this is what you see and uh, when it gets down downstream where we just came from uh, it, it's flat and it, it, it over floods and it goes into the communities where people live but these are the stones that it brought from uphill this was an orange farm but you can see how the river ravaged the whole farm to look like this the oranges have since dried you can see the other side all these were orange plants these were orange trees but uh, they have since dried because of river nyamwamba over flooding and destroying the whole farm So, oh, you must say, see, Banga, Imbaba, talk about the current. No, it's how the river is. Yeah, but the river. Talk about the river. Flooding it becomes so dangerous. Now, what you see as a sandbank was created by the, the local community with the help of the local area MP who brought in a, a grader caterpillar to create sort of a sandbank to protect the river from flooding the other side to the community nearby here. So uh, the, you can see the sandbank running from here up, up there. So the river was just over flooding and getting into the nearby Otherwise this sand can easily be swept away and the river will get back to the community. Those people have destroyed the river bank uphill. That's, that's why the river is now wild and flowing wherever it, it wants to move. Because the river banks have been destroyed by poor methods of farming. People farm up to the water. And, and, and the vegetation that protects the river or, or slows the, 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 the flow of the river, the speed has been destroyed and now the river just flows anyhow and gets to where it needs, it, it wants to go. These are buildings that were once occupied by people before River Nyamwamba flooding. But right now, as you see, they are submerged by, by water and uh, what residents have resorted to is remove the iron sheets so that they can find buildings elsewhere. You can see the power line that was supplying power to the building, but now the poles are also submerged. So really, this was too much for this community of Kanyangea. Ah. Yeah. Amazina. Amazina ganje ninye nyonjera meri. Umukai kuru wa kanyange. Nkija yo chenda nebiri. Mazire yo bwire bwinji. Mere nyine kibanja cyanje namakaganje amezi gatutahirira amajugagwa. Ekibanja cyatahwa amezi kikakirimwe rutoki kirimwe bicori kirimwe bihimbo kirimwe bitakuri. Mere ndiwo umukai kuru omuhingi aha myaka nkaga na mushanju eyinyine. Konka hati ya tinchi ne chokora ngo mukazi ngo mukai kure fwa kazi omushiri akafa yansi jira bana mwende na borora aha magezi ganye ndi kuhinga konka tinchi ne ho kuhinga abana bakora bashwerwa abashiri abashwerwa konko mukandi munyenka majuga nje gona gagwire gawaho hati ni ntaho mukampu ti nyine ho kurara ni shabo This is not war that has brought these people to this camp it is just the effects of climate change in the Kasese district that have gotten these people to live in these tents. So, really, they need help for them to get out of here. It's not a good situation here. They don't have sanitary facilities here. There are no toilets, there are no latrines. 
So uh, the children are in danger of getting uh, water diseases. And the IDP come, as you are seeing the situation here, as our told you the other time, now this is the tents we have, we are using as, as houses. Now we can see the situation here, as I already told you the other time, that we are now having a total number of 917 people are living in this camp. So with a total household of 292. Now we can see the situation we are living, as they are there cooking, even the kids are there. I think you are seeing them. Now I hear by calling the stakeholders and the other NGOs to come and assist us, otherwise the situation is not good. And now I had come also to know that there is, where, where there is congestion, there there is some diseases which can come up after that. Now, even we have another challenge of, of there are some of them who are, who are who having diseases like AIDS and uh, other types of, of, of diseases and uh, they are uh, now looking for tablets to swallow. Now, to me, as I can say, I don't have much to say, only that it's you to see the situation we have and now we shall just say that I should assist those people or now I pray that this, uh, you come up with something to assist us. Uh, God bless you. Majina inaita Janet no kwa kambo ya kanyangei watutu wadugu wadogu hawasiki wanafanya viki habi wesekani sana hawasiki tunajisa kumpira na vingine vingine vyoko Sibira Janet one of the ladies here uh, in the camp and she's trying to talk about the challenges they are meeting she has really explained how difficult the, the difficulty they are living in when it comes to sexual reproductive health services, health rights which are being really affected. And uh, in this, it means a lot needs to be done on the ground so that these challenges are addressed. She is not alone in the whole camp, uh, like you can see. They are together with other colleagues. My name is Isaac Sinamakosa, Ideas for Uganda Leader. Climate change is real. Just in a system municipality, Western Uganda, there is an internally displaced people's camp. This is a camp not caused by war, but the effects of climate change. There is a river just crossing here in the municipality that busts its banks because of people destroying the neighborhood and the banks. So as ideas for Uganda, we have to rise up and take action. We mainly need to come up with three interventions. One, these people need urgent support in terms of food and clothing. These people need trained in livelihood. And these people need to be engaged in terms of meetings so that they can be able to identify their problems and solve them. We will work with the communities al along the river to start up community nursery beds so that we can start nurseries for the bamboo, bamboo trees, uh, which are mostly known for holding the soil together and tying the, the soil layers to avoid displacement of the soil. We are optimistic that this is going to stop the, the overflow of the river into the nearby communities.